two of the world's greatest water skiers, Bronwyn Wright and Robbie Woods. Bronwyn, the 1978 US, Australian and World Water Ski Racing Champion. During his 1977 tour of the United States, the Americans christened 17-year-old Robbie Woods the Bionic Kangaroo. 27 straight wins and undefeated for the entire tour. Australian, United States and world champions, Bronwyn Wright and Robbie Woods. Well, that was nice going, Bronwyn and Robbie. If you've got a moment, I'd like to talk to you two champions about safety in water skiing. Bye. Have you got a moment? Sure. Right, well, let's just sit down here. I notice you both wear buoyancy vests and wetsuits. How important are they? They're essential, Ken. There's no question about it. Take wetsuits, for instance. When you fall water skiing, the force of hitting the water can really hurt you. And, of course, the faster you go, the harder you hit. Not only hurt, Bronwyn, but a bad fall could do serious injuries, even permanent damage. Robbie, how do wetsuits prevent this? They act like a protected layer which cushions the impact between the body and the water. I guess this is particularly essential in your chest, stomach and lower stomach regions. Yeah. And what about buoyancy vests? Well, firstly, Ken, not all water skiers are good swimmers. And I believe you should be a competent swimmer before you're ever allowed near a water ski. However, wearing a buoyancy vest is essential for the poor swimmer who takes up the sport. Even if you're a top-class swimmer, it doesn't help much if you've come off at a high speed and suffer a momentary blackout. It's happened to me a couple of times and boy, all I can say is thank God for the buoyancy vest. And what's the best colours in buoyancy vests? Both orange and yellow. Well, I guess the first safety point is always wear a buoyancy vest and preferably a wetsuit as well. That's for sure. Absolutely essential. The observer is really the key to the skier's safety. If he or she misinterprets one of the signals, then accidents and tragedy may well occur. I can really see why he or she must be on the ball all the time. Yes, observing's a job that a lot of people take too lightly. A good observer can save your life, where a bad observer can get you into a real lot of trouble. I noticed while you were out on the water, you were giving hand signals to the observer in your ski boat. Yes, there's a central communication link between the skier and the boat. Now, both the skier and the crew should know these before they go water skiing, particularly their own state regulations. I'll sh explain them to you. If Robbie, would you demonstrate them to them? Yeah, for sure. Firstly, when the speed is okay and the skier is happy, this is a signal. To slow down, signal with the arm extended and the palm of the hand downwards, making a slight downward padding movement with the hand. Shake the head if both hands are being used. Then to speed up, motion with the open palm of the hand facing upwards and making an upward padding movement with the hand. Nod the head if both hands are in use. If a skier has fallen, he must immediately signal that he is okay by clasping both hands above his or her head. These aren't signals that only you competition skiers use, are they? Heavens no, they're just a few of the signals that every skier should know and use every time they enter the water. Well, we've seen quite a lot of the do's of safer water skiing, but what about some of the don'ts? Well, there's a classical example of an idiot. That's for sure, Robbie. He's breaking just about all the safety rules there are. No wetsuit, no vest, and observer, well, she's got her mind on other things. He's the kind of driver that gets the sport a bad name, a real mug lair. He's much too close to the swimmers, and if he doesn't watch out, he'll collect that moored ski boat. Skiers who disregard the safety rules like that idiot ought to be put off the water for life. He'll kill someone, and then it will be too late. Thanks, Bronwyn and Robbie, for your advice, but what about showing us now how it should be done? Sure, Ken. Well, water skiing would have to be one of the greatest sports of them all, providing it's done properly and safely. Thanks, Bronwyn and Robbie. Safe for boating, be in it too.